Today we're going to take a look at how to find the vertical asymptotes for cosecant graphs from an equation. So it really boils down to simply applying the horizontal transformations to the vertical asymptotes of the parent graph, y equals cosecant x. So let's see exactly what pieces those are and how to use them. So here's the general form equation for a cosecant graph and the horizontal transformations are simply the inputs of the cosecant function, so the terms in the box. So whatever you see within that parentheses of the cosecant term, that's what you want as your first part. So we're going to take that and set that equal to the vertical asymptotes of the parent graph cosecant. And so if you're not familiar with where those asymptotes are, go ahead and take a look at that graph. They happen at zero plus pi k, where k is an integer. So all we have to do to find our asymptote generating equation for any cosecant equation is to set these two things equal. So here's what that looks like. We set the bx minus c, those inputs, equal to zero plus pi k, and then we solve for x. So remember k is an integer, and depending on what integer you substitute into that simplified equation, you'll get a different vertical asymptote along your cosecant graph. Um, so it's really neat, and let's take a look at how this works with a specific example. So let's say we wanted to find the vertical asymptotes of y equals negative cosecant of 3x minus pi minus 1. All we need to do is take the inputs of the cosecant function, so it's right here, 3x minus pi, and set that equal to the parent asymptotes of cosecant. So those happen at 0 plus pi k. And now we can solve for x. So let's first start by adding pi to both sides. And notice that when we add pi to the right side, the only like term that we have, the like term with pi, is going to be 0. Pi k is its own type of term, so that cannot be combined with pi. So now on the left we have 3x. On the right we have pi plus pi k. And now we can solve for x by dividing both sides of the equation by 3. And just make sure you divide all your terms by 3. So your final equation to generate all your asymptotes for this graph will be x equals pi over 3 plus pi over 3k. So let's see how that works by plugging in just a few different values for k and simplifying to find each of the corresponding asymptotes. So let's start first with a very easy one, k is 0. If you substitute in 0 for k into the equation, we should expect an asymptote at x equals pi over 3. If you let k equal 1, you'll get the next asymptote toward the right. So you have pi over 3 plus pi over 3. So you have an asymptote at 2 pi over 3. Let's try it out when k is negative 1. So if you substitute in k is negative 1, you end up with pi over 3 minus pi over 3. So we see we should have an asymptote at x equals 0. And you could keep doing this for as many integers as you felt like it, um, but I think this is enough for you to get the idea. And now let's go ahead and look at the graph so we can confirm this, and then maybe see even how a few more would be generated. So here's the graph. Here is our asymptote generating equation. And notice that the three asymptotes that we found on the previous screen, x equals 0, x equals pi over 3, x equals 2 pi over 3, they're all here. Okay, so if you kept going, if you let k equal to 2, you would get this asymptote here at pi. You'd end up with x equals pi over 3 plus 2 pi over 3, so x equals pi. Um, and you hopefully could see that as you progressed increasing your k's, you'd keep getting the next asymptote to the right. And similarly, as you move to the left, you'd be decreasing your value for k. So keep practicing plugging in different values for k until you feel really confident. Um, and hopefully this helped you get a really nice, easy way to find the vertical asymptotes for cosecant graphs. Um, I'll post a few more links in the video description to maybe another example of finding asymptotes for a specific cosecant graph, and I'll also post links for a method for graphing cosecant graphs and a lot more examples, so be sure to check those out. Thanks for watching.